This morning we have Brant Siegfried from the Chicago Tribune. Pleasure to have you on, Brant. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. So you have a big story coming out this morning about the governor of the Bank of China. What happened there? Yeah, so basically, uh, yesterday evening, I was out in the hallway um, waiting for you know, something to happen, I suppose. And a Chinese cabinet comes out there in an unmoderated caucus, and some of the members start talking to me. And they tell me of an emerging scandal. Um, the governor of the Bank of China tells me that they conducted an investigation into the Minister of Foreign Affairs and alleged that he had ghost employees on the payroll and he was misusing the funds uh, for those employees. And so those allegations turned out to be false. The, the governor of the Bank of China was fed false information. Um, that's at least the official narrative. And mm -hmm. so officials in the Chinese government were unhappy with the dissent uh, from the governor and she was assassinated yesterday evening. So the twist is the governor who uncovered this uh, corruption was found dead. Yes, exactly. Um, it raises a lot of questions about the integrity of the Chinese cabinet and the loyalty of the members, and it looks like we're heading for some rocky waters for China. Okay, and in covering this, do you, are you afraid for your own safety? Do you think that you might be targeted? I do have some concern for that. I was pressured by some members of the Chinese cabinet to pull the story. Um, the official narrative on the death right now is that it was first an internal matter and now a planned retirement, but I can confirm that the governor was indeed assassinated. And so, yes, that is a concern. I'm taking a risk to be here. Wow, well thank you so much for your reporting. Thank you.